In 2004, British and American volunteers built a new headquarters for the Peace and Hope Trust in Nicaragua's capital city, Managua. Designed by British architect Matthew Falconer and named after a generous benefactor of the Trust, Casa Mary Jane is a unique project to show that cheap, recycled materials can be used to produce a high-quality building which is resistant to the earthquakes common in this part of the world. The Trust's field director in Nicaragua, Peter Coleman, is based at Casa Mary Jane. As you can see, the footings have a unique design. They're shaped like a tooth in a mouth, about five feet deep, a cement piece roughly two feet by two feet wide. The walls and the uprights are completely independent. The uprights support the roof. The walls are self-supporting. The roof structure is very unique in that it's rustic but extremely strong. It's really connected as a grid, one solid unit carrying on throughout the whole house, not just outside, but the same uprights, the same eucalyptus support on the inside and on the far side of the house as well. It twists a bit and it's quite resistant to termites and to the weather. You can see it, it goes up and it's supported by a number of pine pieces that actually continue on over the walls to the far side of the house and actually um, compile the, the totality of the roof. And the design of the whole house has the same concept. The walls, on the other hand, are quite different. They're made of bales of rice straw. The bales of rice straw are about two feet wide by three and a half feet long and about two feet tall. These bales are stacked onto a separate footing which forms the footprint of the house. The bales are stacked and staggered as blocks would be to form each wall, after which point they're wrapped in chicken wire and then essentially sewn together side by side with a steel shank and pulled together tightly. The most important fact about these walls is that they stand independently. They aren't connected nor are they touching the roof or any of the support structure. Therefore, in the event of an earthquake, in theory, the walls and the roof and the uprights would all move independently, preventing a cave-in, damage to the house, or loss of life in worst case scenario. I've had the privilege of living through three earthquakes here in the past two and a half years and we have yet to see any damage or have any problems including cracking. Straw bale construction is a unique and functional style for a home. It's not an expensive style. As you can see the size of the wall basically is the size of a straw bale. While this home is earthquake proof it doesn't mean it's more expensive. In fact, rice straw and eucalyptus are essentially rubbish. Those are items that are burned on farms and typically discarded. We've used those materials to design a house um, as a model that can be replicated in many different locations. It's earthquake proof and it can be produced and reproduced by those that don't have the financial resources to build a modern mainstream home. Mm -hmm.